Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at Orion by Metallica. This is a very special request from my buddy Jesse Downing. He wanted me to dedicate this particular video to the memory of his uncle Edward North. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's have a look at the first little section. We're going to be working with an F sharp minor arpeggio. I'm going to start from 9 of the 5th. I'm going to hit that once and then I'm going to do it again at the start of the arpeggio. That arpeggio is going 9 of the 5th, 7 of the 4th, and then 6 of the 3rd. And then I want to repeat 7 of the 4th and 6 of the 3rd again. So it's going to go. Okay, then after that I want to work into this. So what I'm playing here is I'm playing 7 of the 4th and then playing 6, 9, 6 on the 3rd string. Let's try it from the start nice and slow. Okay, then I work into this. Let's slow this down. This is kind of working with an E dominant 7th arpeggio. I'm going to start from 7 of the 3rd. I hit it one more time and then work down sort of the rest of that arpeggio. I was playing 9 to 6 on the 4th then and then I want to end on 7 of the 5th. Okay, then at the end of that I go which is basically just an E major 1st, 3rd and 5th arpeggio. So I'll play that slowly. I've got two 7s on the 5th string and then I want to play 6, 9, 6 on the 4th. So all together I'll put a couple of breaks in we'll have a look at what we've got thus far. All together one more time. Okay, then the second group is the same thing but we just want to start from 7 of the 4th string and then from the arpeggio onwards. Exactly the same. And then the third group does exactly the same thing. So what we've got is we've got starting on the F sharp for the first little chunk and then we're going to be starting from A from 7 of the 4th string for the 2nd and the 3rd. So this is what we should have thus far. Look at the fourth little chunk and then we'll try it again with some tabs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... That starts going to be exactly the same. So we're starting on the A on 7 of the 5th, 7 of the 4th rather. And I work down the arpeggio. Exactly the same as what we had before. 9 of the 5th, 7 of the 4th, 6 of the 3rd, and then back to 7 of the 4th and 6 of the 3rd. So it'll go... And then I go... So that part of the arpeggio actually is exactly the same as well. 7 of the 4th and then 6, 9, 6 on the 3rd. And then I go to this. So it's very, very similar. We've just got that little gallopy rhythm at the end of that little chunk. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 7 of the 3rd string and I'm playing a single note and then I do a quick gallop. I call these apple pies. So I go a single note and then that quick apple pie forward back forward. So after I've done my little apple pie thing, I go nine six nine and then I want to go to seven of the fifth. And then at the end of that I want to play the seven of the fifth again and then play the six nine six 
on the fourth string. So it goes. Okay, I'll just do the most recent chuck and then we'll do the whole thing with the tabs. One more time, the whole thing with the tabs. chunk we're working through a very similar sort of classically sounding idea but uh, it's going to be a lot simpler than the first section so we're going to work through this <laughs> we we'll just repeat that idea four times in a row so I'm going to start from seven of the fourth and hit that twice and then from there I want to play nine six on the third I want to hit that six again and I'm going to play six nine seven so I go Let's try what we've got so far. Then from there I want to go. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 7, 9 on the 3rd and then jumping to 6 of the 4th. Okay, all together. And there's just two notes left at the end of that. I play 9 of the 4th and then 6 of the 3rd. And then when I resolve that back to 7 of the 4th string, that's the actual beginning of the new loop, if that kind of makes sense. So I'll play two in a row. One more time, Chris, you can do better than that. Let's try it one more time, four times over with the tabs. section we're just going to be starting off with a pretty simple scale run in F sharp minor or Aeolian however you want to look at it. I want to start from 14 in the 6th string, I'm going to play 14, 16, 17 and then 14, 15, sorry, 14, 16 on the 5th. So it's just a group of 5 and then it sort of evens out from there. So that's a group of 6 there. So what I want to do is I want to play 16, 17 on the 6th string, and then 14, 16, 17 on the 5th, and then resolve that to 14 of the 4th. So all together, and then from the next point I'm just working all the way up the scale. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 16, 17 on the 5th, then 14, 16 on the 4th, and then the next part, I want to play 13, 14, 16 on the third string. And we're just going to keep this shape for the next three strings. So I play 13, 14, 16 there, 14, 15, 17 on the first, and then 14, 15, 17 on the first as well. I think I meant to say second there, so 13, 14, 16 on the third, 14, 15, 17 on the second, 14, 15, 17 on the first. Let's have a look at it from the start thus far. Okay, then I go from 17 to the first. So I've got just a single pick and then two more. Then it works into this. So we're working around a sort of an F sharp minor pentatonic idea. So we do the three picks. Then I want to play 14, 17 on the first. And then I pull off uh, to 14, hammer to 17, and then pull off back to the 14 again. So I go. If that makes sense. And then I just want to work straight down that F sharp minor pentatonic. So it'll go. So the notes of that really slow after that were 17, 14 on the second, 14, sorry, 16 to 14 on the third, and then 16 of the fourth. So all together. Okay, now 
from after 16 of the 4th, we work our way back up into that sort of bluesy, bendy idea. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing uh, 14 to 16 on the 3rd, and I bend to 16, and I'm going to play 17 at the 2nd string. And then one more bend for good measure, back on that 3rd string. It's a pretty tricky bend, so you want to either use the middle uh, and the pointer together with the ring finger or maybe all three with the pinky. That feels pretty good. Let's try and do the whole section relatively slowly and then we'll do it one more time with the tails. seven to the second string. So I'm playing the seven twice and then I play nine ten. And I'll hit the ten again and slide to twelve and then play ten nine after that. So all together. Okay then we're working to this. So I'll slow that down. I'm playing six seven nine on the third and then I want to slide that over to eleven all in one pit, hammer on into a slide. Okay, when I do here, I've got uh, 9, 10, 12 on the second as a hammer on, and I'm going to hit the 12 again and slide that to 14. That's a tiny bit different on that one. There it goes. So I'm going to hit 12 twice after that slide, and then I just descend down the scale, which is going 10, 9 on the second. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got thus far from the start. Okay, then I work into this. Let's slow that down. I'm playing 10 9 on the second string, and then 9 of the third and 9 of the fourth. Okay, then I work into this. So, what I'm playing here is 7 9 on the 4th, and then I hit it again as a bend in and out. Then what I want to do from that bend is pull off back to the 7, and then jump to 9 of the 5th. So it goes. Let's finish this off and then we'll put the whole thing together slowly. So the next part goes. It's a sort of similar phrasing at the end. What I'm doing at the start of that is 7 to 9 twice on the 4th. And then the last one goes 7, 9, bend into a pull off. And then going to 9 of the 5th. I'll do that slowly. Let's try the whole section relatively slow and then one more time with the tabs. And that was part one of my Orion solo tutorial. I'll hopefully get cracking on part two very soon. Catch you guys.